In the last episode, we went on the hunt for some wither skulls. And after four hours, dying three times, once to my internet dropping out, and twice attempting to escape wither skeletons, we finally got three skulls. I swear, it never used to be this hard. We also built eight potion brewing stations down in our starter farming area, so we can always keep the coffee shop full of coffee. I mean, who doesn't love coffee, right? We then thought we should probably finish the bookshop and coffee shop interior. And I might sound a little biased when I say this, but I think this might be the best looking bookshop and coffee shop in town. I mean, the fact that it's the only bookshop slash coffee shop in town doesn't really matter, does it? Regardless, I do love how the interior turned out on this build. Don't tell anyone this, because it kinda sounds a little crazy when I say it out loud. But sometimes I come over here, sit down, and pretend I'm reading a book and having a cup of coffee. That's totally normal, right? Thanks for coming in early today, Pepper. I really do appreciate it. Now I have something very important I need to discuss with you today. If you remember, the last time I was here, there happened to be a few unwanted guests. And one of these guests got a little bit too rowdy and ended up blowing a hole in my shop. I really need to do something about spawn-proofing this shop. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh! No! No! Oh, why? Now, you being the manager of this fine establishment, and also conveniently being a cat, I would think that keeping an eye out for these types of exploding clientele would be part of your job description. Think of this as your first warning. Now I hope we are both in agreement that this won't happen again, right? Okay, keep up the good work, Pepper. You're doing a fantastic job, apart from, you know what. Okay, so while we're over here, guys, I think we should maybe check out to see if we've made any sales in the bookshop and the coffee shop. Okay, we're making, oh my goodness, we, <laughs> Guys, we're making diamonds. Oh, I'm gonna have to restock, aren't I? All right, I'm gonna grab all these diamonds. <laughs> There's gonna be a few of them by the looks. All right, let's gather up what we've got. Oh, that's a bit sad. Let's gather up what we've got in here and see if we need to restock. <laughs> Oh, who said there's no money in bookshops, huh? Now, I believe Loki was here the other day, and yes, yes, he stocked up a full chest of the Soul Speed 3 books, which is fantastic. Thanks, Loki. Okay, not bad, not bad. 44 diamonds in the bookshop. Not bad for a, um, a, a couple, of, couple of days since I've been here, I guess. All right, let's go see if we've got any sales in the coffee shop. And uh, no sales. <laughs> no sales from the coffee shop, but that's okay. That is more than fine. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to sell any. Anyway, um, it's not as if I, uh, you know, made eight brewing stations to sell no potions. But that's... It's fine. It's fine. Now, I am only joking, guys. <laughs> 44 diamonds from the bookshop, though. That's magnificent. I'm very, very happy with that. And we are going to need every single one of these diamonds in today's episode. But before we get to that, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, something that we did a couple of weeks ago here on the server. I met up with Arrington and Mega and we went on an end busting mission to gather up some shulker shells and it was quite profitable. Check out what we've got. So we've got this shulker box here. And if I can place this down somehow and do this and do that, there we go. <laughs> we ended up splitting the loot at the end and my share was three sets of wings and four stacks of shulker shells. So that should keep us going for at least a wee bit. Now I uploaded the long play episode of that adventure on the channel a week or so ago. So check it out if you're into long play content. So moving on on what we need to get done today. And I know I'm only new to town, but even this guy is running out of storage space in the starter farming area. So let's head over there and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay guys, I've been 
a wee bit busy. I've been trying to restock a few of the books for the bookshop and um, taking a look around, it's pretty obvious that we have uh, we've outgrown our starter farming area, haven't we? As far as, as far as the I mean the storage is concerned, at least this this hurts my Minecraft soul looking at this, and I have to do something about this immediately. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up this area here, and also going to clean up downstairs. As we head on down here, guys, it, it's a farming area, yes, but I I need to make this look a bit nicer as well. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to clean up upstairs, and we're going to hello sir, and we're going to clean up down here and just tidy it up and put a put a few I don't know a few design improvements down here. So let's hit the fast forward button and I'll bring you guys back when I've got something that looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so progress report. As you can probably tell by my voice, I'm I'm a little bit crook, but we're going to push on. So we'll see what we can do. As you can see, I've done a wee tidy up of all the shocker boxes. Got a bit of a scaffold happening through the center here and I've extended the villager pods all the way down the end here. And this is where the old villager breeder was. Uh, and I've dug out this underside here, so our zombie friend here can do his old chomp chomp of their feet and give me some better trades. But I've moved the villager breeder down the end here. So these guys are just hanging out down the end here. Got uh, some potatoes growing here when they can eventually, I'll eventually probably put some beds just out the side here, but they won't be able to get through because we've got this trapdoor situation happening here. And I'll put the villager collection system down the end there, which will hook up and allow me to bring the villagers down this sort of area here. So a little bit done. It is looking <laughs> a bit messy. It's got to look worse before it gets better, right? So, all right, let's keep cracking on. Okay, so further progress has been made, guys, and I've finished off the roof design, and I think it looks, looks pretty cool. I'm happy with how that's turned out. I love the fact that I can use the mud bricks that kind of looks like a steel reinforcement for the roof, uh, along with the hoppers and the um, the lanterns, of course. But I'm not too sure if I like these vertical beams or not. I think it adds a little bit of depth to the to the to the roof design, but I'm not too sure. I might leave them in for now. So we're getting there. I still got to do the floor design, but I have added this border of excuse me, light terracotta, and um, which is kind of like the closest color to the shocker boxes here, and this is where I would sort of just re-supply um, the shop with books and I guess, you know, like grey terracotta and whatever these guys can, can trade with as well. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it's a little bit, um, I guess, um, less messy <laughs> until you turn around here, where the mess has, has grown a little bit. So... <laughs> Let me tidy up this area, and I think we need to sort of come up with a an easier way to get downstairs to the farming area as well. So, so leave it with me for a bit. I will have a bit of a play around, and I'll see what I can come up with and bring you guys back. Okay, another progress update, and the floor has been completed. And do I like it? I think I like it. <laughs> um, yeah. Look, I think I think together it all looks pretty pretty good. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I'm not sure. Originally I had these, um, these accent blocks as, uh, lapis blocks and I've changed them out to be the warped nylium because it's got a little, little bit of purple in it, which brings the light gray terracotta from the, um, from the border out here into, into the middle of the design. And I've also put some, some more light purple, light purple, light gray terracotta in the middle here. So Together it has the the warped, uh, crew, what's this called? Warped log, um, and the purple in together as well as the little birch sort of colours. I think that looks pretty cool and it sort of brings it all together. So all in all, very happy with the floor design at this point anyway. Now if we move down here, I've noticed that <laughs> I kind of forgot about this little guy. I got him in, in like when I first arrived into town, I think from memory and I never named him, which is a shame, because the little dude needs a name. So if you've got any ideas, leave them down in the comments. We might take him to the coffee shop, and he can be the coffee shop mascot, maybe. So we might do that a little bit later in the episode. But this room 
has come up a real treat, guys. And yeah, let me know what you think, but I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. So I've started carving out a stairway down each side of the entranceway here. And I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have two sets of stairs coming down into this area where I might move the nether portal and have that in here and have this as like a, a little foyer area potentially. Um, and then some stairs on either side going down to this farming area down here. And this is where my chests monster has <laughs> resided. And it's pretty sad that these are all my worldly possessions in one little spot. All right, let's, so let's crack on guys. Let's move the portal up into that foyer area. Tidy up around here, make it look a wee bit nicer, and um, yeah, I guess I'll bring you guys back when that's done, and we'll go from there. Just admiring the trading hall, guys, because, wow, what an improvement to uh, the mess that it was before. <laughs> anyway, so let's head down. The stairs have been completed on either side here now, and we now have a portal room, which is nice, with a, with a little bit of a, 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 a doormat, if you like. As you come through the portal, you've got this cyan with some cyan terracotta on the sides and the stairways up with a nice little plant in the middle. And we've got stairs on both sides of this, I guess, foyer area or whatever we want to call it. So if we head on down, we still, <laughs> we still have a mess, but we now have a storage room and it's not much, granted it's not much, but it's somewhere to sleep. And somewhere to basically put all our shulker boxes. So the next step for me is going to be tidying all this up and probably sorting them into something like, you know, stone, deep slate, green leaves and grass and what have you and, and things like that and wood types maybe on the other side or, or something like that. But the next step is going through and doing that and then I will start to tackle this area down here. But let's... Uh, Let's get stuck into this. I'm not actually really looking forward to this. So what do we think of this now? I think this is a fantastic improvement on what we had before because to be quite honest with you, it was pretty dull and boring down here. So I'm actually happy to be hanging around and I'm definitely going to be enjoying being down here a lot more than I was before. So all the farms are separated now and in between all the farms, we've got a couple of doorways here that we can get back to the back behind the farm and get to the redstone if we need to, if anything goes wrong. And I've also tidied up the iron farm down here, which is looking a little bit neater and it's all hidden away. A little bit nicer down here and I've also set up a double composter which uh, can get rid of the poppies nice and quickly. I also wanted to show you that we have the original tools from episode one that I kept um, from when we first came to town so I think they look really really nicely in this little storage area. Speaking of the storage area guys I'm actually really liking the way this has turned out so I've got wood items basically in shulker boxes just keeping it very simple uh, most of my most of my gear that I carry around all the time is in my um, ender chest here, but I'm liking the idea of having um, a lot of bulk items still in... Oh, they're my they're shulker boxes. I like the idea of having bulk items in shulker boxes still. See, all oh, the deep slate that I've got here. Just keeping them nice and neat in shulker boxes within this little area, I can I can keep quite a lot of items just inside this little storage area here. But we're not done yet, guys. We still need to finish off the floor design here. But uh, we have a small issue. <laughs> and that issue is that we don't have enough diamonds to finish the build, what I have in mind down here. So for the design I have in mind, we're going to need 44 diamond blocks, which is 396 diamonds. <laughs> and I currently don't have that many diamonds, unfortunately. So let's do a super fast diamond mining session.
So there we have it guys, a pickaxe, a sword, and an axe, and <laughs> oh, this thing, this, this floor design cost me 400 diamonds, <laughs> what was I thinking, what was I thinking, yeah so with the frog lights, the dark prismarine, and the prismarine, this thing cost me 400 diamonds, um, uh, I guess I guess it looks okay, but is it worth 400 diamonds? I don't know <laughs> Oh, well, it's too late now. It's done 400 diamonds Are you serious But before we finish off today's episode, I have one last thing I want to do today and that involves heading back over to the coffee shop Welcome to your new home, buddy. And we'll uh we'll work on getting you a name, okay? I promise. How's business today, Pepper? Any sales? What's this? Oh, I must have missed this earlier. I'm old bones. Oh. He's back. I'm old Bones Jones! 